Hey, it's John Mike, BrewDashShoes.com. We've got a Smash Ale in front of us as a part of our Smash Ale series. This time around, we're exploring Palisade Hops. This is from uh, Yakima Chief. Uh, this is the Palisade brand hops. It's a, I guess, a registered trademark um, variety from this particular hop grower. And uh, this is a cryo hop uh, pellet form of it. Um, coming in at 14.2% uh, alpha acids. And uh, if you haven't watched one of our hop smash videos, why? Uh, I'll just tell you uh, the format in which these beers are brewed are very small, one gallon batches, uh, two pounds of malt, it's a uh, raw two row American pale malt. And then I use uh, one packet of hops and I distribute that during the brewing process. Um, for a hop like this, uh, I don't uh, boil them for too long. This is a, was a 15 minute to go in the boil uh, uh, addition and then uh, another addition right at flame out and then uh, a smaller addition for dry hopping. And uh, because these are supposedly concentrated, maybe we'll get some strong flavors out of this particular hop. Um, maybe we will. Now, I wrote about this hop uh, a long time ago, and uh, I was uh, particularly interested in one uh, note of it. Okay. Um, but I think that Mike might pull it out. Oh, God. Um, you know, it's, so. it's uh, but like, I think that the other overwhelming <laughs> flavor is like kind of what I'm getting out of it, but uh, I'll be quiet because I'm just being cryptic about everything. And I'll let Mike uh, describe what he's sensing from this particular smash beer. The uh, aroma on this is, well, first of all, it comes across all together, the whole profile of it is being relatively old school. Mm. Um, uh, as far, I mean, Palisade, I think, has been around for a, a, a long time. And it has had different ebbs and flows in terms of popularity and where it's been used. But um, there's definitely a citrusy, uh, aroma to it. I guess I get mostly like a very pithy, like lime zest thing. And um, it's very green to me. Yeah. Like there's a very, it's very green. Yep. It's definitely, um, I wouldn't say it's piney, but it's, it's resiny. It's got uh, a lot of that citrus character, but without the fruit component to it. Mm. Um, so really zest, pith, um, <clears throat> The bitterness is relatively mild. There is an aroma that sort of keeps coming back to me that when I try to smell it, it's not there. Then I come back to it and it's there again um, that I can't quite put my finger on. But it's definitely old school zest, almost like a sea hop type of deal. Um, it's pleasant. I mean, the aroma, the uh, flavor is pleasant. It's yeah. not overly aggressive. Um, it's an interesting hop to cryo, in my opinion, but we'll <laughs> see what happens. Well, that's what, yeah. I, this is a package that I, I got from like a, a few, like I think I got like a whole bunch of different cryo versions of yep. hops. Uh, one would be uh, Amarillo, which yep. um, I'm using for a soon to be uh, tasted beer. We'll talk about that in the next uh, few weeks. Um, but yeah, I, I was, I had this as a package. I, I looked and saw that we didn't do a smash on this and right. decided to brew with it. Um, I think that you hit it's on a little earthy. Yeah. It's, 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 it's green. I think that's what you hit on the most. And, um, I wouldn't say it's to me, I get a lot of, like, it was kind of an herbal. I can't yeah, really, really like, what I want to touch use. it. Yep. Um, the, the one, the one descriptor that's here on the packet is grassy. Yeah, grassy. I mean, yeah, yeah. When okay, you say good. green, that's that's kind of what I'm getting. Like it's it's like the, that. Is it green grassy or is it like hay grassy? I would say green grassy. Like you know, like yeah. <laughs> one of those wet summer mornings after you cut the lawn, sort of. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So it's an interesting hop to put mm. through the cryo process. The one, and, and maybe because I, I usually was... really, really want to go like West Coast IPA. Yes. With a truckload of like there you go. Centennial and Chinook or something, right? right? The the one fruit aroma that uh, that's uh, mm. here on the packet is apricot. No. Yeah. Now, when I tasted it, I was really trying hard to get 
what that get that that note and and when it warms up there is a maybe that's the thing that keeps fading in and out yeah there's there's not a is there, there's a, a hint of something sweet in there hint it's yeah. it's so subtle it's hidden in the grass <laughs> no honestly i haven't had a fresh apricot in a long time no no I you know what years. if it is apricot it's the uh fuzzy exterior is what it is <laughs> right not yeah. the actual fleshy the flesh fruit of it. inside yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm. like when you dry, eat like a dried apricot, like especially a good, like an organic yeah. one, and it has that like uh, astringent, like tannin thing on your palate. That's sort of what I get from apricot, mm. but yeah. the sweetness, maybe yeah. it is there a little bit on that A aroma. little bit. I think as it warms up, it's there. When I was tasting it yesterday, I was, as we were preparing for this video, I was like, eh, it's there. I was yeah. hoping you were going to go down the stone fruit pathway yeah it does present very citrus uh, yes. rind yeah it's not the fruit of uh the a citrus fruit because but i think that's just the bitterness that's coming through so maybe that was the, the um what they were attempting to see what would happen with cryo is to see if you could amplify that yeah. apricot aspect but, of but it. i think we're getting more of the green stuff yeah you know which isn't too bad which is fine i applied in the right mm. place right um right. this would be an interesting hop to use to balance out um, you know, uh, people call me a heretic here for the saying this, oh, but no. you could really balance out maybe if you're not a lover of of um, the juice, very juice forward, juice balmy uh, New England IPA style, mm. but you do love hop forward stuff. You could probably balance that back with a little bit of Palisade, like maybe at 60 minutes, because we've been doing I still like a 60 minute edition yep. in a New England IPA. Yep. Um, if you wanted to find kind of find a way to balance all that fruit flavor with a little bit of traditional hopness, um, I could see doing that here with this. Yeah, very good. Um, yeah, I think that um, noting that that uh, the apricot's not that strong, I was uh, really hoping to get more of that out of there. Yeah. Um, but mm. overall, I think that as you say, like there's been some hops I've brought to you, and you're like, nope, don't like this. But I'd say yeah. you you like this. It's pleasant. It's just it 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 doesn't seem to have you know, like a it, natural fit. Somehow. Like all beer that you drink, it's very <laughs> like situational. And right now, I think uh, at this stage in my life, at this very moment in time, I'm craving like this type of hop presentation yeah. uh, i don't get a lot of like hop pellet on it yeah. right so yeah. it's working for me from that standpoint i wouldn't drink a ton of this all by itself um i wonder if you could amplify the apricot by using amarillo yeah. with it yeah. just those two together yeah. might make something very uh orange citrusy apricot -y. Mm. maybe maybe yeah, maybe 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 but yeah with, with all my research, i don't hate it you're right with all my research into the uh the black ipa phenomenon mm -hmm. um and then also the just uh just reading, like, it, it then, like, you, what happens is you start reading articles and you get on to, like, all these uh, beer blogs that just, you know, talk about the beer industry and the yep. craft beer industry. And they're saying, like, you know, it's almost like there's a backlash to hazy IPAs. People are now craving yeah. the, uh, you know, the the uh, old-timey, old-timey, <laughs> the original, you know, Cascade, Centennial, Chinook. Uh, hops, American IPA, you know, American, we'll call it, right? American West Coast IPA, IPA maybe. hops, and uh, I'm feeling it, man. I'm feeling it, and uh, balance. When we get when we get to the uh, you know getting back to the jar of destiny and jar talking of about those beers, it'd be interesting to see you know how that uh, shows up in you know my black IPA. So awesome. We'll talk. Well, maybe I've given up. I've, I've said, said too much. Put that away. We'll awesome. talk about that later. Great. All right. So. If you have a history with Palisade Hops, we'd love to hear about it. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel because we do this kind of thing every single week. For uh, John and Mike, brewdashdudes.com, brew on. Cheers.